Guards are everywhere. Buy Serapis. Where is that Magi? Only he can help me. Priest? But why are you on the street? The guards discovered that I gave their food back to the people. Now they hunt me. I have a bounty on my head. Being a priest of light is a dark job in this filthy city. I can get you out of Alexandria, priest, if you like. But I cannot keep you safe forever. I ask too much of you, Magi. There is a small temple north of here that will take me in. The Philakitai will be watching the roads, Magi. We must leave by the canal. There should be boats there. I will spew arrows on any who get in our way. Be like a moon, priest. Perhaps we can sneak you out without the guards knowing. Come out now, priest. I... I've never seen blood before in such quantities. The devourer and Apep must be smiling. Thanks, Seraphis. Now, what were we saying? Let's take one of these boats. And it will have to do. It looks sturdy enough. I go to a temple near the fathers. They will take me in. Perhaps it is true what they say. Alexandria is a city filled with liars. I've met a kind hand or two here in Alexandria, priest. Sometimes it's enough to know that not everyone would kill another for a drug. We are nearing the arsenal responsible for all ill that has befallen me. They will be on alert. Ready yourself then, priest. They come after us with Felucas. Apparently they wish to show the other priests the error of your ways. It was only food. The people were starving. I kill you! Thanks, Serapis. What were we saying? Thanks, Serapis. Now. What were we saying? Here is where you wish to stop. Is this the island? Yes. It is yet a short distance to the temple. I will be safe, Magi. I will practice at the temple as a new man. I will leave you with a small token of my gratitude. May your happiness multiply. <laughs> this is where you and I part, Magi. I am a priest no longer. Lysander was my name. It will be nice to be Lysander once more, I think. Walk in peace then, Lysander. And you, Magi. Bayek. Thank you.
Πάμε, λύσει εσύ. Πού καλά βρει τι Παύλε. Would not no truth if it hit them in the head. Alexandrians, we must stand against this sickness that spreads in silence. Pa! This Gennadios, he seeks to stifle the Alexandrian poets. He knows not what kind of enemy we are. They may jail me, but I will not sell my blood to the death merchants of this regime. I'm worried about Thanos. Did you see his latest play? It was very dark. He is a poet. They have other passions. Bayek! Finally, someone who appreciates my genius. My play has been confiscated. You are attracting trouble. Worse yet, they jailed my actors. All among the finest poets of Alexandria. They say if I attempt to put on the play, I will be put to death. Be careful, Faros. You are frail and brittle. You stick to writing, and I will help you find your play and actors. They threw my actors into the garrison. You believe that, Bayek? If the Philakit I want to fight, I will fight. I did not start this war, but I will finish it. The Ptolemies have oppressed poets before. They banished us all to Nubian mines. Perhaps if your play was performed at the temples, it would reach more people. Whoa, wait. I did not realize you Siwans knew so much about the theater. In Siwa, we had many great satires performed at the temple. <laughs> I remember watching one in which Anubis gets engaged to a jackal. <laughs> How fascinating! I have yet to see the Egyptian satires. What is your play about? It is called Faror Enough! A rousing comedy about oppression and the ignorance of the Pharaoh. Oh, and lions! Sounds... interesting. Is this theater not magnificent? And empty because of the regime. Please, buy it. Fly like Senu and bring life back to this amphitheater. I miss my poets. Vigilant. What's the meaning of this? What? Hey! 
recognize you in poetry if you get me out of here. Ah, carry to safety. An experience like no other. Will you be still? Hey, careful there, big guy. Kill it. Ah, this reminds me of my youth on stage. I was an excellent sack of grain in my premiere appearance. I pray you, be quiet. Stand out, drunk. There you are. Thank you. But there are two more of us. They escaped. Canadios Vilakitai seek to kill them. They also took the play and headed toward the palace. If it lands in the wrong hands, Thanos will be in danger. Do you know where the actors hide? They're home, not far from here. Don't worry about me. I'll find my way back to the theater. Hey now! 
Ön tarakse. Oğlanos, evge. Treasonous fool! You will find that fool beggar now! Sir, I believe he's an actor. I don't care what he is. We must find him or I'll be stuck marking stables for weeks. I'm sure that damn fool is around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Time to go, young poet. Wait. Isn't there supposed to be two of you? Capanios? He fled, and accidentally brought the guards to me. They hunt me like a dog. If you could deal with them, I can return to Phanos, and our masterpiece will go on. Be calm. You will be out of here quickly. Of course. I will be as silent as... Be still. I think I hear them. Hey, what? Hide, boy! I will not! Ah! You can like a tie that the wrong end of the room! Get the foolish traitors! I'll trick him! Awaits you. Now there is nothing that will stop us from exposing this regime. Thank you, friend. I'm sure Capanios will find us eventually. He always does. When the danger is past, of course. Whoa. Stay behind me, Gideon. Shield me, brothers! I must not fail! You did it, Bayek. Thank you. I never doubted you. Aya is a lucky woman. Yeah. <laughs> Aya always spoke highly of your place. She enjoyed my pro Cleopatra work. My pharaoh lady. Now we can perform this play like true poets. The guards may kill us, but it is an artist's duty to see his vision fulfilled. <laughs> I will write a play for you someday, Bayek. The last of the Magi. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry. We'll change the names of the main villain, Ptolemy, and the title. We won't die, and the play will go on. It is by... You will be the death of me. No, mother. I will be your salvation. No more olives, no more payment to rent a press. Pay attention to what you have in front of you, idiot boy. Not the mirage you see in the distance. But what a mirage, mother. The white linens of a philosopher, and with that, drachmas. Coins would come from the papyrus you lost. Are you sure this is where you lost it? I already told you. The papyrus was taken from me. Just admit that you lost it! It was taken from me, mother. Do not fret. I'll get it back. I only need a small bit of help. Magi, your help is needed again. My idiot son left my offering in his papyrus, which he lost. 
I cannot sell my oil without giving thanks. I did not lose it. The guards took it. The papyrus is my life, Magi. They go too far, these guards. The papyrus had my notes. Those bastards threw it on a boat. I will look into this, Tefibi. And I will find your offering, little mother. My soul is troubled. The Pharaoh's guards have yet to forget Tefibi's actions. I will find us a better path, Magi. Never fear. This must be the boat that the Phoebe spoke of. I might well be able to get in unseen. Something is not right. I don't feel it. No easy way here. This is the papyrus, and the offering. Both the Phoebe and Jepo will be happy. Now I'll prove to them that I can match them in wits. Still spouting your nonsense. The Greeks will never accept you. Yes, they will. I'll be a philosopher soon. Your offering. Now you can return to selling your olive oil. I worry about him forever. It is hard to understand when you do not have children. Allow Tefibi his chance. He'll be all right. Thanks again for your help. Those Metrocoites will think twice before attacking my poets again. We will be able to spread our word and stomp out those filthy untruths, Bayek. The regime will fear you, Fanos. They do already. Why do you think my poets are accosted in the street? Truly. Gennadios' philakitai haunt the streets, harassing our people. They grow even more vicious. This must stop. I will defend your poets. I support the cause. Of course, but first we celebrate. Then we destroy our opposition. Bayek, it is finally time to celebrate with my muses. Shouldn't you stay to oversee your actors? 
We must find time to work on the next play. Bayek, you must come. This celebration better rival my own events in Siwa. Come, Bayek. This will be an excellent night. Let us hurry. You will be our guest of honor. I remember the celebrations we would have in my house in the better years. Ah, memories. They have become less so of late. These Philakitai suffocate our celebrations. They know nothing of poets. They think they know truth. You know it better. Of course. Truth comes from chaos, not order. Home, finally. Prepare yourself, Bayek. This is a night you will not forget. It had better live up to the tales that I had told. <laughs> this is grand, Thanos. Bayek, come. Enter our very own Elysian fields. Welcome to the land of truth, Bayek. Ever the greeting. Thank you, Leda. And this is it, where the poets of Alexandria find respite. Wait, do you hear that? Gennadios! His men must have come after us. We will deal with this, Phanos. Come, bring your blade. I will fill my inkwells with the blood of these Metrocoites. They come, Bayek! Let the gods indulge! Gennadio sends his regards, Panos. <laughs> Your treason has filled his cause for death! <laughs> People safe, Panos. Metrocoites, they have slayed some of my muses. Dracon, my favorite poet, will live, thankfully. There must be a way to stop them permanently. Bayek, we are blood poets now. This is our chance to bring people to our cause. Whatever it takes to defend freedom. Give me some time. I will talk to my people. Find their strongholds. <gasps> Oh, the match loaded and showed live below. 
Barbos, jealous fate, numbering his victories instead of his years, thought him old and stole him away in his 25th year. Icarus, a champion from 13 when he won his first race to his thousandth win as Miliarius. There is no honor higher. His horses, as blessed by the gods as he, Abraxas and Santana, whom he rode to victory in over 500 races. The definition of equine pride. Icarus, lead racer for the populist Prasina Green, won them wreaths of olive, laurel and pine. Now they are lost in a turbulent sea. The Veneta Blues, who gnashed their teeth and tore their breasts when he beat them. Even they weep bitter tears at his loss. Oh, tragedy that you, Icarus, should be cut down in the bloom of youth and be summoned so soon to harness the dusty steeds of Serapis. The chariot race was never long enough when you drove with the lightning. But oh, why should your own race have ended in a flash? Senifa, oh. is it you? Bayak, you sour facey one. <laughs> I, I am Claridas now. What are you doing here? Icarus was a thousand times better than you! Oh! Oh. Who's going to lead you greens now, Malakia? You're a babe at the teeth. You think you can win the Cursus Magnus? <laughs> Horse shit! Leave Nikias alone. Icarus' death was a dark day for all of us. Let him weep in peace. So, is Aya with you? Ah, hey, I'm alone. <laughs> I was just asking. <laughs> Ask my foot next time. <laughs> no matter. Join us at the tavern later. Hmm? <laughs> last month when five chariots all crashed. So I said, it's not your pig I'm talking about, it's your wife. <laughs> oh, oh, Bayak. How long has it been? A decade? <laughs> More? <laughs> you left Siwa a long time ago, huh? And you left your name behind too. I had to. Claridas is a name better suited for the Hippodrome. <laughs> Remember the horses we rode outside Siwa? Huh? Oh, those nags. <laughs> I thought you would never leave that shithole. Mm. Siwa. Small, poor, and ugly. <laughs> the only beauty there was Aya. Has it changed much? Has she? Things change. People change. <laughs> ah, I need another drink. <laughs> Pardon, Neb. 
I overheard Clarida say you once rode together. My father sponsors the Prazina Greens, and we are in need of a mighty racer. I'm only here to drink and forget. Leave him alone, Nikias. <laughs> Real men are drinking here tonight. <laughs> Bayek, come. Let me show you something inspiring. Huh? Taking me, Senefa. Please, Claridas. I have not been Senefa in years. Ah, why did you change your name? To succeed in the Hippodrome, one must be welcomed by the Greek houses. So, a Greek name. Oh, you abandoned your name, your home. Siwa was nothing to me. The Greeks may look down on us, but screw them. I eat and drink well on what I win. I have no ambition to race at the Hippodrome. You? <laughs> no, never. They cheer for me. Besides, you would need a sponsor, a real chariot. <laughs> Now, Icarus, he was a true hero. Did you know he won a thousand races and survived twice as many? See how they loved Icarus? You have adopted their gods too. Aye. Our gods never did anything for me. You're lucky I left. If I had stayed, Aya would have been mine. You are drunk and an ass. You have no idea what I give up. Oh, the world is hard. You always looked down on me in Siwa. Thought you were better. I never. Doesn't matter. I have found fame. At what cost? You gave up your home, your name, your gods. You chose this path. And it has brought me all the coin and cunt I want. Now you always wanted glory. It is not what drives all of us. And all you wanted was Aya and little Bayax. What made you abandon your dream? Enough. You alive? <laughs> you are old. Time for me to dunk my head. Uh, the beer hits harder than you. What in Dionysus' name were you talking to Nikias about last night? Nikias? Who? Don't bullshit me. I saw you. What? You think his father will just welcome you onto the Prasina Green team? You really think you can roll onto the track and win races with no training? No skill? Piss on you. Maybe I should seek this Nikias out and hear his offer. If you can win, Claridas, it can't be that hard. You might want to pray first. You'll need all the help you can get to survive the Hippodrome. The gods will watch us race and decide... You have your gods, I have mine. We'll see who rides out covered in glory. Enough has been said. Let the gods judge you in the Hippodrome. My 
my dear, sweet Kalios. My poor, sweet baby. Nebet, what grief has swallowed you? We... we came to pay our respects to Icarus. To make an offering for him. To ride victoriously in the next life. But... but... Shh. Gently now. I'm listening. Blue ruffians came at us. They jeered at our sorrow. And when my Halius spat in their faces, they struck him down. They killed him. Then stole a bust of Icarus and ran. Now, my younger son Icarus has gone off towards the shore, chasing after those blue demons. I fear he'll join his brother. We came to mourn our hero. And now my family is destroyed. Please, Magi, save my last son. Don't let his life end today. Go back to your home. Try to rest. I will find him and bring him back to you. should be cautious around here. Time to go home. Wait, Medzai. These sagging cocks stole a bust of Icarus that my mother had prepared for the great charioteer's memorial. They threw it in the river to defile it and bring a curse upon the Prasina green racers. We need it. Let me get you to your mother first. No. You must retrieve it before it is lost for good, or else my mother will never recover from her despair. I can make it home, but I am too weak to find the bust. Please. Find the bust of my namesake and bring it back to my mother. As I must. Passion, Zikaras. Let's get you where you belong. and more I owe you. The bust of Icarus! Now Prasina has a chance in the upcoming games. 
You are truly a blessing sent from the gods. We will make an offering to Icarus and the Prasina Green in your name. There is no need for that. But if you must, make the offering for my son. I would have loved to have shown him the spectacle of the Hippodrome. We will. Come, mother. We have to prepare to deal with my brother's funeral. Yes, of course. At least he's glad that the bust of Icarus was restored. <laughs>